What's up, everybody? Welcome back here to franktortorici.com. As always, I'd like to welcome you. If you're joining me through franktortorici.com, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or Create Your Health, welcome. Today, I want to touch on one of the most amazing superfoods that I think a lot of people know of, but I think most don't. And that superfood is called spirulina. Spirulina is a blue-green algae grown in fresh waterways. Uh, it is the most abundant protein source from a plant kingdom on the planet. So for you vegans and vegetarians out there that do not eat any type of animal products, spirulina is going to be your best friend. Spirulina, man, it helps with allergies. It boosts your immune system. A lot of studies show that it actually helps with arsenic poisoning, um, helps to fight with uh, cancer and AIDS. A lot of naturopath doctors claim that uh, man, it also helps with candida, uh, candida growth, which is the yeast growth in your intestines. Uh, some of the studies that I've found is that spirulina, actually, the, the Aztecs used it, used it as a food in the 16th century. So that's, uh, you know, dates back a long time ago, and uh, it's readily available almost anywhere. I mean, you can find it at any of your local supplement stores. Trader Joe's has organic spirulina for, uh, I think, a bottle of, 100 or 120 tablets for like 5.99 or 4.99. So you can find it anywhere. Uh, you can take it in a tablet form or a powdered form. The powdered form goes really well in a smoothie if you mix it with raw cacao, which is basically raw chocolate and different types of whatever else you want to throw in there, berries and fruits, etc. Uh, but again, spirulina is an overall supplement that I feel. I'll speak for myself. It's something that I will take the rest of my life. Uh, you know, again, I mean, you, you will rely on other sources of protein if you're not just a vegan. But this particular plant, whether you're vegan or not, is beneficial for everyone. Because it's a green plant and it has the properties of chlorophyll, uh, it's very cleansing, very alkaline forming, but also very high in protein. You know, and that's a very hard thing to find because... Pretty much every animal product that's you know high in protein is also very acidic. So to get the alkalinity and the protein at the same shot is a powerful punch. And I usually take my spirulina first thing in the morning uh, with my breakfast right before I work out. Definitely gives you a little energy boost. Definitely good to boost up on during allergy season. As I mentioned, it definitely helps with the side effects of allergies. Again, allergies are just an immune response. So the spirulina is actually going to help give you uh, a healthy immune system. So that's pretty much it for this. Again, get your hands on spirulina. Do the research. Consult with your doctor if, if you're on any other medications, uh, you know, and see what works best for you. Again, I'm just speaking from a place of my research over the years and predominantly wor what works really good for myself and for my clients, etc., so again, if you have not subscribed already, please click the subscription button right here on YouTube. It is free. My website is www.franktortorici.com. You can also join me on Facebook, Twitter, and createyourhealth.com. If you go to createyourhealth.com, my blogging site is named Stop Dieting, Start Living. A lot of other cool practitioners and healers on that site as well that you can check out. So again, pass these videos along to your family and friends. Again, spirulina, get that protein in, that immune boost. And uh, we'll talk next time. Post comments, pass these videos along, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace and love.